Today we will be reviewing the new U-Build Mousetrap. As you can see, this set is perfect for kids ages 6 and up, and you can play with 2 to 4 players. What's really nice about the U-Build series is that not only is there a mousetrap, but you have U-Build Monopoly, or even other games such as U-Build Sorry, you build Connect Four, or even you build Battleship. That's very nice. If you don't like you build Mousetrap, you have other varieties. Now, what I also like about the you build series is that you can build the game into anything you like, so the possibilities are endless. Now, on to you build Mousetrap. We. As you can see, we have two extra accessories that I will show you later, and a very interesting die. This die is not like many other dies, which are numbered 1 through 6. This die has stickers, and each sticker has a different symbol on it, and I will show you what each symbol means. Now, on to the instruction booklet. The instruction booklet is very small. So, it's very easy to build and is very straightforward. And what the instruction booklet helps you build is this frame, these little cheese hills, and cheese mountain. And if you don't like the setups of all of the little cheese just hanging around, then you can always build it into anything you'd like. Now, on to how to play. You build mousetrap. With you build mousetrap, what you have is, if you notice here, you have this little ball, and the little ball is your mouse. What you can do with your little ball is, as I showed you before, with the accessory, also known as the space bot, you notice that this little boot here is flimsy, and the reason for that is, you can take the boot and kick your mouse off of your little cheese hill. And there are three different ways of actually using the space bot. You can just let it move. You can flick it. Or you can grab it with your two fingers and just control it yourself. And what you can do is after you've kicked off your mouse with the space bot, it will roll down cheese hill and if it hits a brick or a cheese, then the cheese is yours. But what you have to do is you have to stay in your quadrant. You'll notice that there are d four different hills, and each hill is inside its own quadrant. Now, back onto the cheese. As you'll see, is if you hit the brick, it's not just an ordinary yellow brick. The brick has little details, and you'll notice the little details are holes, or circles. And these holes actually represent cheese. So that is very nice. And after you've hit your brick, you can just take it up, and you can place it on your board. Again, you'll notice there are four different boards on each corner of the game. And all these colors represent your board or how much cheese you've acquired throughout the game. Now, after you've collected your cheese, you can take the die and you can roll it. Now, on to the reason that there are stickers on the sides of the die. There are four different types. There's two bricks, there's a mousetrap, a rocket, and cheese mountain. On to the bricks. The bricks mean that if you land on a brick, you can take any cheese from any area and just stack it up. And why is that so important? Well, what you can do is, after you kick your mouse off of your little cheese hill, you can place them back on, take your space bot, and if you kick the mouse, and if he rolls, and if he hits, the stacked up cheese, not only do you get the cheese that was there, 
but you also get the other cheese that you stacked up a while ago. That is very essential for winning the game. <clears throat> now on to the rockets. As you can see on the game board, there are these half oval nice perks. And what these are are their rockets. And if you see here, there's this gray hexagon shaped thing. And what it really is, it's just a landing pad. So you can take your rocket, put it on the landing pad, <coughs> and place your mouse on top of the rocket. And when you land on the rocket sticker die, you can take your rocket and you can move it to any free any free landing pad on the board game. Now, on to the mousetrap. What I really like about this is that this mousetrap is also in the original old game, the non-U-Build version, which is very nice. And what you do with the mousetrap is if you land it on the die, you can take the mousetrap and you can place it on any rocket. What's also nice is that if there's a mouse inside of the rocket, you can take the mouse and you can also trap him as well. Now, if you're wondering, how do I get out of this? All you have to do is you have to land on the mousetrap die. And you can just take out the mousetrap and set it aside. And that's your turn. Now, on to my favorite side of the die. Cheese Mountain. And why is it my favorite? Because not only is it the center of your board, but if you pick up Cheese Mountain, you notice that there are two slivers here and here. And you saw before that I took out this long brick looking piece. What it really is, is it's is it just a slide or a guide for your mouse to fall through Cheese Mountain. And as you can see on the bottom of Cheese Mountain there's a hole. And you can see in the center of the board that the hole fits right through these nice circular pieces. So you can just slide it along and it'll fit right there. And you can take your slide and as I said before, you can put them right through the openings so everything fits perfectly. Now, if you land on the cheese mountain sticker side of the die, you can just take your mouse, set it at the very top of cheese mountain, and just let it roll up. Now, instead of setting your mouse on top of the cheese hill, there's a better opportunity for you to actually hit more cheese bricks. That's very important when you want to win the game. Now, that's pretty much how to play the game. It's pretty straightforward and extremely fun to play. What I would have to say about the game is that it's really nice how you can set up the bricks to anything you'd like. And you have nice rockets that you can fly your mouse around. And you can have four players. And that you have extra accessories making the game a lot more fun. So... If you're going out Christmas shopping and you really don't know what to get for your kids, I would definitely recommend you build Mousetrap. Or if you don't like you build Mousetrap, you got a lot of other choices to pick from, like you build Monopoly, you build Connect Four, or any other game. Thank you for watching.